one. I'm so asleep. This is some sort of magical concoction that my girlfriend made me. That's me, right? That's you. Just checking. Um. What do you think? Mm. Oh, alright. I can taste the green. What's the green? I can't tell. My, my taste buds don't work in the morning. Is that spinach? Yes. Mmm. Like Popeye. Popeye. That's a funny word. So what are you doing on day one of our holidays? Don't look so excited. <laughs> Sorry, I'm zoning out. It's, I think my body realises that um, it doesn't need to wake up at 6 o'clock like it has been, so it's just been sleeping in. I was up since 5.30 this morning. Mm. Um, I woke up and I must have been so excited because I was just jiggling around and wanted to get up and I think I was just all like, it's all on holidays. And that was a nice feeling because... Last holidays, I was pretty down. Hmm. Wow. Well, you're all up in Adam today. Not like me. What are we going to do today? What's our plan of attack? Okay. Um, I believe we're going to Cannington, which is that way, to visit Noodles. Noodles? Noodles, who apparently only loves Grom, not me. Um, to buy a pair of sneakers for you. Yay. Because you need sneakers and Noodles is a uh, sneaker fitting specialist. What's his official title? What are they called? Shoe guy? No, they're called something fancy. Okay. Something about fitting. Or... Like sandwich technician. Mm. Yeah, like Subway. Um, so we're going there so he can fit you with a pair of sneakers because your sneakers are old and gross and you need something nice to walk around Singapore in. Um, and then we are going to buy a GoPro! <laughs> GoPro fingers! Um, because it's cool. Because we want to take photos of stuff on our heads. On our heads. <laughs> oh wait, when we go to America we're going to be climbing a mountain. When we go to Singapore we're going to be climbing walls and possibly doing a high ropes course and maybe some sort of zip line. Um, so I think it would be cool to be able to have a camera that you didn't need to use your hands for. So we're going to get one of those and maybe a few little accessories, a suction cup and stuff like that. And I also need to brine a chicken. I need to clean my sandals. I need to put through a food shopping order and I need to do some sewing as well. I want to just sew up all the bits of clothing that your pants and you money. don't have to serve up my plants. Uh, pants. pants. <laughs> my, my, not my plants. All my pants. Because I super glued my pants together. Really? Yeah. Guy tip number 327. If you can't be bothered sewing your seam things on your pants, just super glue them. It works. Hey Rex, what's up buddy? Nothing much? You're on the video right now. You wanna do a dance for us? Oh, he's too shy to do a dance. Oh, you're filming me. Hello. Um, we are at Jared Gibbs at the moment so we can buy a GoPro and some accessories. Okay, so these are the two different editions. Yeah, One's the motorsport this edition. This is the motorsport, so it comes with a suction cup mount and the J-hook buckle, which I'm not exactly quite sure what that is. Um, and then adhesive mounts versus the outdoor which is the helmet strap and the head strap we don't need the helmet strap because we don't wear helmets so i'm thinking the car one because the suction mount itself is like 44 bucks and the head so strap, we want both of those things yeah, we so we might as well in the pack get the 
Because the pack, two packs are the same price, aren't they? Yeah, they're exactly the same price. So. Right, so we might as well get the um, more expensive accessory mm. one and then buy the cheap accessory. Exactly. We can save ourselves 20 or so bucks from something that's already incredibly marked up. Stop back focusing, camera. <laughs> Internet. We're only here because it's just as expensive on the internet. Stupid GoPro. Shakespeare. So yesterday, oh, let's me just reframe that. Yesterday, we um, went to Fresh Provisions to buy chocolate coated pretzels. Ended up buying a bunch of other things, including truffle cheese. Today, we went to Camera House to buy a GoPro, and we bought extra things again. What is with us? UV filter. And I just wanted a UV filter for the camera that we're filming on right now, just to protect the lens because it is so flat and the glass is so close. Um, and then he somehow convinced me to buy a circular polarizer because I love them and I do shoot a lot of landscapes and it makes the um, sky look beautiful and blue and stuff. So um, we ended up getting all of it for, can we say how much? Do you mind? Yeah. We got ended up getting all of it. So the two filters, the GoPro head strap and the GoPro motorsport version, which has the suction cap for 500 bucks, which is pretty good. Plus, because we're traveling overseas on Tuesday, we actually get our tax back as well. So we get 50 bucks back when we're at the airport. So it all cost us 450. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, if we bought online, it would have been cheaper, but we'd also have to wait six weeks. Yeah, so, things. Tweet. Thank you. I didn't know you were coming. He oh. just said he was coming. Yes, we're here to buy shoes for him. No, I must have been. See? Oh, 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 so Except for the spell my name wrong. Mikhail, Mikhail that's right. That's the only a new badge with, with the correct spelling. Master What's wrong with your name? I like your name. Mikhail Nudles. Mikhail. Mikhail Nudles. Okay, so Master Fit Technician. Yes. Can you master fit his feet? Uh, it's going to be going to be a hard one, but yeah. I'm sure we can manage something. Oh, he's making notes whether or not your foot's good or not. Why does that say woman? <laughs> Am I a woman? You measuring me on woman? The I am woman. Here we go. Does he roll in as much as I do? No, definitely not. He doesn't ah. he doesn't need the beast. So we just want a little bit of support. Thank you, Master Fit Technician. Oh now the internet can see how that I never wear even socks. They now know that you're crazy. Noodles, he's lost. You reckon he's um, a box of Shoes have just fallen and he's trapped in the back. I'm thinking of some sort of fox robot mutant machine. Why would they have fox mutant like, robot like a, machines? Like it's some sort of transformer made out of shoes. Oh, that would be cool. And I was saying before, I'm quite insulted that in the women's section, it specifies that the cross training shoes are netball shoes. What? What? Men can't play netball and women can't play basketball? No, women can't play basketball. I played basketball. We had Oric Fluoro Orange singlets and I wore little bike shorts. 
and that's when I decided my favourite number was four because that was my basketball. So take that, shoe store. I want to see you in those uh, basketball shorts. Creeper. I got these runners, even though I came here not wanting runners, but the magnificent Mr. Noodles has convinced me otherwise, and he's a good salesman. You should come here to Athletes Foot Carousel Canning to help you. There's something in the oven. Well, there was something in the oven. And I'm pretending like we filmed this while it was in the oven. Okay, thanks, thanks for clarifying that first. What's in the oven? I'm cooking some gluten-free banana bread. Ooh. So, the other day with our second Coles online food shopping order, in an effort to save some money, we decided to order all of our groceries online. Uh, and so far it's been fantastic. Um, we've stuck to our budget and spent a lot less money on eating out which has been good. So, I noticed last time when I was on there that they had uh, White Wings now had some gluten-free flour. Now, I know there's plenty of gluten-free fat flours out there, but this one was spe specifically designed for baking, which is always hard when you're transferring recipes over to gluten-free because uh, the gluten-free flour absorbs a lot more moisture, I think. So you always have to alter recipes. But this one says that it can be used just as normal flour. So I attempted making a banana bread because we had some overripe bananas that I wanted to use up. Those ones are okay. But we had I a couple more. I don't see any bananas in there. Oh, there's bananas there. Oh, right. So hopefully it works out. I did use a little bit less flour because the batter was quite thick. So it seemed more like cake. gluten-free banana bread that we made. Mm -hmm. What I made. That's yummy. Do you like it? Mm. So I think the taste is very good. Mm -hmm. I've already nommed up my slice. Yeah. Um, but the texture is always a little bit different as we found with um, crust pizza gluten-free base. Mm. Which we ended up loving the base. It's good. Mm -hmm. Hello, hoodlum. Hello. Your head's cold? Yeah, it's quite chilly. Yeah, I should have actually brought my hoodie as well. Yeah. So what are we doing? I'm feeling crappy this afternoon. I felt blah. So I thought to ease some of my anxious energy, I should go for a walk. So we came down to the foreshore. Foreshore? No, the foreshore is up there. River? But anyway, we came down to the river to go for a little walk. But we also forgot that the sun sets much earlier now than it used to in the summer. So we can't go all the way around all the bridges. So we're just going to wander until it gets too dark and the rapists come out. Yeah, but uh, yeah, as you can see over there, it's actually quite pretty, but uh, I'm quite pretty, yes. Um, the sun is, oh, I forgot I've got a camera in my hand and I should be talking to it. The sun is quite low, so we might just wander over to South Perth. Could, actually, could we visit Luke and Cat? Not that. Probably. We could. We'll, we should walk to Luke's house and then uh, say hi. Hmm. Anyway, let's look at strangers. So what do you want me to do? I want you to do 20 chin-ups. I'm not very fit. No, but these chin-ups are something that we have wanted to get better at because of rock climbing. Okay. So and you always complain that you don't have a bar to practice on, so you now have a bar to practice on. Just standard chin-ups? Sure. 
20. 20. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh. oh, you only did five. Average pace. seconds per mile. Alright, so uh, you reckon you could do better than me? Yeah, I think so. Ready? Go. So the original plan was to visit Cat and Luke's on our jog, but those clouds started uh, doing the wet thing on us. So we realised we you can probably see the rain over there. yeah the rain it's already raining over there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, a bit of rain over there. So yeah, I think we're time to head back and. Uh, Make sure we don't get wet. Exercise is tiring. We didn't beat the rain. <laughs> We're kind of saturated. Yeah, and bedraggled. I am so bedraggled. I don't know if you can see that. I'm not fit. We're running. Especially if you're trying to run against the weather. Time to go home.